What's up guys, how are you doing today? Um, before I start, I've got a little tale to tell you. I woke up this morning, right? Already getting ready for a busy day ahead of me. So I just go on my phone, I see a lot of things get posted on Facebook, and to something I found out, there's new rules to the game. Yeah, there are new rules added to the game and guys this is not just a new summoning method or a new extra deck no 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 these are actually pretty big changes so first of all here we have an extra monster zone now yeah for these monsters that are going to be called link monsters i believe yeah link monsters that we have a new type cyber as well so um Basically, how this is going to work is that you put the new link monster in the extra monster zone, and you're able to link it with monsters on your main thing here. All right. And also, another big rule change that has got everyone just through the roof is that your extra deck monsters cannot be summoned to the main monster zone anymore. Hmm. That basically shuts down every deck out there but according to the picture here there is an xc's monster here in the main zone that has a link here so what it looks like is that it can only be summoned with the link i don't know like this is a lot to take in like many many players are just losing their minds right now over this a few of them think this is a cool idea but a lot is just, ah, it's crazy. And um, another new thing, let's see if I could find it anywhere. Because I know that what the rule is. It involves pendulum zones, like which, again, I know what it is. I just need to find where exactly they put that article of it. All right. So, all right, so I'll just tell you guys. Basically, the new thing now with pendulum zones is that pendulum is still going to be a thing. It's just that the scales are going to be taking up your spell and trap. Okay, here it is, right here. Now, your pendulum stuff is going to be taking up your most left and most right areas of your spell and trap zone, which that's not too big a deal, considering how most pendulum decks don't really set stuff anyway. So, that's not really a big deal. But... The whole thing with the extra deck monsters, that's a very big thing. I mean, many people are already threatening just to leave the game because the game so much more complicated and stuff like that. I admit I'm not exactly jumping through the roof thrilled with this because this does kill a lot of my favorite decks like Odd Eyes, for example. But the one thing that Konami was smart about, they did not really mess with my Dark Magician deck. Because, yes, Dark Magician runs an extra deck, but only for, and I think almost any Dark Magician player could say this, only one out of like four games do you actually have to go into your extra deck to win a game. So, on that, um, yeah, I'm just very, very mixed about this right now. And it doesn't help that I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I like saw this and I just immediately grabbed my equipment and just here to talk to you guys about this. So yeah, and apparently any player can take up these extra deck, extra monster zones. So it's like a race to see who can get them first. Ah, uh, yeah, this is gonna complicate things for a while. I'm not gonna lie, but who knows? Who knows? This obviously this stuff is not gonna be anywhere in the near future. But it's definitely a big change to come to the game. And I don't know. I mean, this was the similar reaction everyone gave when Pendulums came out. So maybe it's just a phase and maybe the mechanic's not as bad as everyone's saying it's going to be. Because as you can see here, there are they do have pictures of Synchro and XC's monsters here in the regular zone. So maybe there's still a way to play them. I don't know. So with that, guys, I just wanted to give you guys the heads up of what it is to come and what to expect with the future of the game. And what do you guys think about this? Let, let me know in the comments section down below. Do you guys think this new Link Monster and Extra Monster Zone is a good idea? 
or do you think it's just going to complicate the game so much more and it's going to lose a lot of players and you just don't want to play anymore? Or do you not play at all or and this makes you want to play the game? Because I have to say one good thing I will say about this is that it's going to slow the game down a bit. Because I agree that the game has gone way too fast paced. So that's one good thing I will give this. I will completely give it that. That it will slow down to the game. That's, this game just needs to be slowed down. So again, I sound like a broken record. I'll give it that. So um, this really covers just about everything I wanted to discuss with this. I mean, we already have several new of these Link monsters revealed. But I just wanted to show you guys that the new rulings behind it and stuff like that. And, yep. So, <laughs> this is a really good way to start off your morning, guys. Let me tell you. Ah. Oh, one more thing I should probably mention before I go out is that with the addition of this Link monster here, you can see it linking to these other monsters here. That's because that's going to give these monsters effects as well. Sp most likely not entirely sure about that but i know for a fact that some of these linked monsters get additional effects for each monster linked or yeah it's one of those so yeah i just want to let you guys know that this is the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! the card game whether it's good or bad remains to be seen and honestly only the future can tell so if you enjoyed this little video here for you guys be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you guys around. This has been Magician's Descendants giving you this brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! news. And I will see you guys later.